this is John Elder with Five Dog Digital Marketing, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to rank your business in the Google Maps section. That's this right here, top of the page, number one. So that's where all the traffic's at. Everyone's going to start here and work their way down. So you want to be here. So we are going to be taking a look at Homestead Remodeling. Now, Homestead Remodeling is a newer client, but they're already on the board. So when I did a search on them, I found that this search term, for example, is in the number six position. And I took a look at it. I saw they're actually in the number four position. So they are moving in the right direction on the organic side. However, as far as the map side, I had to run a different tool called Local Falcon right here to find out where they are at. That being the case, I can see that they are just barely on page one for this particular area, and that's about it. So, how are we going to green this map up so they are ranking for their target search term across the entire San Mateo area? To do that, I'm going to start with GeoImager. This is a very inexpensive tool and allows you to add GPS coordinates to your images as though you took them in that exact area. To use this, I'm going to take this little graphic that I created in Canva and go ahead and download it. I already did. And then I took those coordinates that I got from Local Falcon right here and I plugged those into GeoImager right here and here. Then tagged it with the target keyword that we are trying to rank better for. So now this image shows the keyword, the name, the alt tag are all flooring installation and it looks as though this image was taken right here where this pin is at on the map. So now Google's going to associate that particular location with us and flooring. How we do that is we take all that, that image, and we go to our Google Maps. Basically, this is the Google Maps layout now. So we want to create a post. Those still exist. You can do it right here. Here's the post that I made. So we can actually see what I did in action. You can see a couple days ago, I dropped this image that I created in Canva. In the post. First thing I wrote was our target keyword. I then wrote a quick little paragraph weaving in several keyword variations, flooring needs, flooring installations, flooring contractor, flooring installation services. I try to get all the synonyms and adjacent keywords and weave them in there so it reads well yet tricks the algorithm. And then sign it with the name, location, web URL, and a quick click call. So with consistency and repeated effort, this is how you're able to to tell Google Maps that yes, I do flooring installation and I do that flooring installation in this particular area. With enough posts like this targeting a certain keyword for certain areas, you're going to start ranking better for those keywords in those areas. This is one trick that we use, but it's the dominant one. You can also use the same trick about tagging photos when you're simply uploading images to your GMB profile. You can also solicit reviews from people in that particular area where you want to green things up a little more. That helps, especially if they mention what service you used. For example, if I had a flooring client in an area that I'm really wanting to green up, let's say they are over in this area. I'm going to ask them for a review. And in that review, if they can mention flooring in some capacity, that's going to help me rank better for that particular search term in that particular area just as well as a post. So posts, images, reviews, and basically just ensuring this is complete completely filled out. You want to be detailed and thorough in everything you do here. But that, in a nutshell, is how to rank your business in Google Maps in under five minutes. If you like this content, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button along with the bell to be notified when we drop our next video. We're dropping two to three a week, so lots of great content here. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.